and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Pula at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys, and today I'm going to be going over the Madden market. Now guys, we are a few days away from Team of the Year, so I want to see where the market's going to pretty much end at, because there's not much content left to come out. There's going to be Legends today, and there's going to be Football Outsiders tomorrow, but Football Outsiders won't really affect the market at all. And then the Legends will only affect the Legend market for like, it's literally a 30 minutes to an hour window every time, and everything settles back out. So you guys have to understand that this is probably the last type of market update that will really affect much before the team of the year because there's not much content else coming out unless they drop like a playoff ltd which i should have dropped already but if they were going to drop it i still don't think that impact the market too much because it's still just an ltd and unless it's like a michael vick or something that typically doesn't impact the market too much because it's limited time there's not enough of them to really impact enough people to really buy them so it kind of just all goes hand in hand with that now when you come on over to the market let's go see we're going to start with our indicator as you guys know let's go over to the 88 see what we're working with there the 80 has been a little unreliable lately though. It, it, it was reliable, but I don't think it can get much lower at this point this point in time. So it really doesn't move too much. And you have to filter it out every time. Otherwise, you're not going to find anything. So it's filtered out by flashbacks. So 37k is filtered out by legends. Remember, it is early in the morning. It's like 8.30 a.m. So things are going to be probably a little higher than they usually are. 33k right there for Ed 2 Tall Jones. That's probably, that's not right. He typically goes for about 39k. Should we make a quick, quick little 6k there? Nope, because I'll forget to sell it, and then I'll end up getting screwed with that. All right, so let's head over to the 90 to 91s. Let's see what we're working with here now. One of the best things I've been seeing as of late is the legend prices, especially today. Hey guys, it is Legend Saturday, so if you're watching this vid, take advantage of falling legend prices. It's always a good time to do so. Now, like I said, I don't really say, I don't recommend to buy too much before Team of the Year because things should come down even more. But you have to understand in Madden, there's certain times that how do I say this? The prices exceed, like price drops exceed price crashes, if that makes sense. So like, let's say Jerry Rice typically goes for 84K, right? But after today's legend drop, he's at 67K. Or like, let's say he's at like 58K for a little bit, like real quick. Although I say don't buy right now, you have to understand that 58K Jerry Rice is a big enough snipe that even when the market crashes, he probably won't even be that cheap anyways. Or that's the cheapest he'll get. So you have to understand that if you get a card on a, on a crazy good snipe, don't not buy it because at the end of the day, he's probably going to be, that. that's going to be like his crash price or not, or even cheaper than that. So you're not really losing there. Now, like I said, I don't recommend you go buy them for 80K right now. If I'm saying if you find a good price, by all means, go ahead and pick up some cards because if you're, especially if you're a budget type, no money spent team and you're working with a lower budget here, not a bad option at all. Just don't go buy them for their base price. Either snipe them out wait for the legends to come out so you can see if you can snipe them out if you don't then you should wait for team of the year and other stuff to come out to really dictate the price now guys before we get into the rest of this video i did forget my intro so let's start up here if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe turn on that noti bell boys come join the family let's keep grinding to 20k comment down below if you guys have any questions regarding the market or anything at all and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up can we get 250 video 250 videos 250 likes on this market video that'd be greatly appreciated now let's continue on with the vid so like i was saying Really up to you guys here. I, I don't recommend buying now unless you find a price that's justifiable in buying right at this exact moment. Obviously, I can't recommend buying before massive promos drop. Usually, guys, I'm like a dog with the tail between his leg this week. I like, I'm like team of the year. I'm like, I'm like I'm walking on eggshells. Like, should I buy this? Should I buy this? And then by the time my, my, my stress is off me and I'm about to buy someone, Super Bowl drops and I'm like, wait, 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 should I buy this? And by the time the stress is off me there, Super Bowl TDs drop them. Hmm. Try to wish I saved for that. And then if I honor drops, and then I end up with no cards. And then I end up waiting for Ultimate uh, Legends. That's like the curse I've had every year. Hopefully, except for last year. Last year, I went all in on Team of the Year. I kind of regret it, though, because I was really broke after that. And it kind of it sucked the rest of Madden. So that's why I don't recommend ever. Ever. Going all in on one promo like Team of the Year. I, I literally didn't want to play Madden anymore after that. I made videos, but I didn't really actually want to play because I had no coins. I was so broke. I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to spend money to get out of the hole, especially that late in Madden. So it was definitely confusing for me. Now the 92 to 93s, same thing with the legends. The prices are about a little a little below average right now. But if you guys, and it's early in the morning, so if you guys wait till Legend Saturday, if you can get a John Henderson for like 95k, like 115, 110, not a bad price at all. Again, that'll probably be crash price. We get him for high 90s, low 100s. So not bad. He's just feeling it out, feeling out the situation, seeing if it if it's beneficial. If it's not, if it's not beneficial, just wait. The biggest thing I could ever preach in Madden is patience is the biggest thing in Madden. I struggle with patience in Madden, I really do. 
I'm like, oh, that card's 500k. But I want it now. But I'm not going to play Madden for two more days. I'm not going to be able to play. I don't have to play games for the next two days. But I want it now. But if I wait for two days, it'll be 200k cheaper. And I'm not going to play anyways. But I want it now. And then I buy it now, then I lose 200k. That's like the curse of every Madden player. Like, you know, like, I know you guys probably have, you guys, you probably understand this example. Like, 11 o'clock on a school night. You know you got to get to bed soon if I'm going to be cranky tomorrow. That Randall Cunningham's going for triple the price. Late at night, it just came out 400k. You're not gonna be able to play until tomorrow, but then you got a lot of homework stuff tomorrow and get some work, so you probably can't even play until Friday. And you know it'll be cheaper on Saturday if you just wait, but you want it right now. You, you power it up, you spend all your coins, and you're like, okay, good night. And then you go to bed, you wake up, you don't play for two days, you come back to things like a quarter of the price, half the price, and you're like, damn, I messed up. And you know, like, you know, right? So that's what I'm saying right now. Like, don't be the guy who just buys these cards now because you just can. If you find them for a justifiable price, by all means, go ahead. But if you're just buying to buy, don't do that. I've done that plenty of times this year myself, so I don't want to sound like a hypocrite, but that's when I had a lot of coins, so I was like, yeah, whatever, but now I don't have a lot of coins, so I wish I didn't really do that, right? Kind of came back to bite me in the ass just a little bit. I just got out of Legends here, because there's not too many Legends. We do have another Legend drop coming today. Now, these Ghosts here, these Ghost cards were down. They came back up a little bit. I wouldn't recommend buying any of these, honestly. They came back up. They're going to come right back down as soon as everything drops. Playoff cards are getting pretty cheap. Now, Playoff 95 being so cheap gives me hope for Team of the Year, that home Team of the Year could be a little bit of a cheaper promo. I don't really recommend you scoop any of the playoff cards. I really don't like any of them. Maybe Ronnie Stanley's a decent one. Like, I really just don't recommend them. I think you'd be better off sniping through NFL 100s. I think it'd be a much better value for a lot of you guys. Like picking up like Reggie White for 260, solid value. Joe Montana, 299, solid value. Tony Gonzalez, low 300, solid, solid value. I think you're just better off picking, like just picking and popping through just all of these little NFL 100 cards and seeing what value you can find here. If you find a good value here, this is way better. These cards are amazing. But I wouldn't recommend you get them yet. Like I said, again, I would pick and pop. I would pick and pop. I would pick through all of them when Team of the Year drops. When Team of the Year drops, these cards are probably going to be there. People are going to be frantically selling the NFL 100. They're going to be like, oh, but my Barry Sanders is similar, right? Or my, my Reggie White is similar. They're going to say, oh, wait, wait, the other guy's better. And then they're going to frantically sell. So if you're going to buy an iPhone 100, they're still going to be great cards. But people who are like hype beasts and get the best one, you're going to be able to buy these for pretty cheap the day that Team of the Year does drop. So definitely stay tuned for that. Like I said, today, I'd recommend you just snipe some legends, see if you can find anything for a good value, maybe make some coins, and then just be, I, I'd like to give this advice now, right? So this advice might not help you today, but in three days when the team of the year drops, you guys aren't going to have direct advice to me until my video comes out, right? So it's better that I give it to you guys now so you guys are mentally prepared for it. That's why I always have to give you guys things beforehand. People don't understand, they're like, why do you make the video today? It doesn't come out for two days. Yeah, but if I make it in two days, the promo drops at 10.30. My video is probably not out to like 2.30 regarding the market aspect of it, which means that from 10.30 to 2.34, you know, like four hours-ish, you guys are making dumb mistakes and doing things that you just didn't know. We're not taking advantage of things that you weren't sure of yet, or you guys are confused and don't know, you don't know how to play it yet. So I like to have these videos out early so you guys have my thought process before, and then while you're doing it, you can see my new video too, and you can reassure yourself. But nothing's worse than not knowing what to do. Now let's go over to the 96 and 97 to close out this video and see what we're working with over here. I believe it's just um, the Ghost of Madden's and uh, one other and then the playoff cards and like i said champ bailey and as i've been saying champ bailey and terrell owens they're going to be in the high 300k range i'm telling you that team of the year drops are going to be either really really low 400 like 405 420 410 420 consistently all of them or they're going to be in the high 300s that's probably that's like the i think that's the range of outcomes highest being 420 lowest being 370 somewhere between there so do not buy these guys just yet i definitely would wait on them there's no the only way they don't go up is if team of the year is a complete bust and the cornerbacks suck and the wide receivers all suck only way it's gonna go they'll, but they'll still go down they'll go down initially when it first drops they're gonna go down because people are gonna only see name releases and stuff once people get the cards they see all the stats and start comparing and everything and they have them in the game if they're if the other cards suck their prices will rise back up you can still take advantage of the initial crash because no matter what a position will always crash down and patrick willis is gonna take a big hit like the only way he doesn't take a big hit is if they don't even like the linebacker they drops a 95 and he sucks like he's like an 85 speed linebacker like there's no other way if the guy's even remotely close to willis he's gonna have some kind of level of competition there willis is gonna have to come down he's way too expensive for my liking i don't even know why he's so expensive i'd imagine it's uh, like our set piece is expensive too like i really just don't know the uh the math behind that for the map for it to be so expensive which could be a beneficial set if he's expensive and they're still kind of cheap it really just depends. i doubt it though typically these sets dic are dictated by the set pieces just as well as vice versa with the masters but guys i pretty much wrapped up this market video i hope this helps you guys you guys should be seeing this today on saturday with all the legend stuff so 
Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you are new to the channel, go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the on bell boys, come join the family. Let's hit the 20k as quickly as possible. We're growing pretty fast, so let's keep it going. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 350 likes on this market video today? That'd be greatly appreciated. Make sure to comment down below if you have any questions at all. Hit me up on Twitter. Always the best way to communicate with me. Comments might be a little slow. Call this upcoming weekend I'm in Spain. I might not be able to get to all of them considering. I more than likely won't have Wi-Fi the majority of the week, so it's going to be part of it. I will have it at the hotel, obviously, but when I'm not there, I'll probably be missing some comments. But I'll get to them at some point in the night. Just don't expect exact like, immediate responses. That's about it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.